Hello you beautiful 99ers, I am Sway to the 99 and I'm super excited because today is Foodie Friday, which means it's one, it's Friday, and two, um, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a delicious budget meal using all items that I found at the 99 cent only store and sometimes even Dollar Tree. So today's video is a really delicious, quick, and family friendly um, meal. I'm gonna be making egg muffins and I'll show you guys how to make them. These are super delicious and very easy to make. And best part, you can load up with, load them up with tons of veggies. So if you kiddos um, are a little iffy about eating veggies, this will be a great way to sneak in tons and tons of um, green veggies and fresh produce into their egg breakfast um, and they won't even notice it. So, all right, let's jump right into this video and get started. So as always, I just wanted to give you a quick glance of everything that I'll be using in today's video. So I'm gonna make a couple of different combinations of egg muffins. So basically you're gonna be loading them up with tons of veggies. So I do have some spinach, bell peppers. Of course we have our, <laughs> we have our eggs. Um, I do have some feta cheese I wanted to use up. Some regular onion, green onion and tomato. So I'm definitely gonna make a couple of different um, combinations between these veggies but you are more than welcome to use any type of veggies you'd like to throw into your egg muffins and again this is a great way to load up you know your breakfast with nice um healthy fresh produce especially if the kiddos i said you know like i said before are iffy about eating their greens um so this is a great way to sneak it in and they really don't have a choice to eat it um <laughs> all right so with that i'm gonna start prepping the oven and start chopping up so let's continue so we wanna make sure that our oven is set at 350 degrees. There we go, we're gonna let that warm up and then we'll be ready to pop it in our egg muffins. Guys, and I just wanted to quickly remind you, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the subscribe button. Um, I do post um, Dollar Tree store walkthroughs and hauls, 99 cent only store walkthroughs and hauls, Daiso store walkthroughs and hauls, as well as a budget meal. So if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I actually do have a giveaway going on right now in my 99 cent only store walkthrough. I have a giveaway, so I will link that video down below so you guys can enter to win some pretty fun prizes. So all right, let's continue on with the video. So while we wait for our oven to warm up, we are going to be just chopping up some onion and of course all of our other produce. Um, so I'm just going to use a smaller knife this time because last time um, a couple of you had commented I was using too big of a knife. So I'm sure this time you guys said I'm using too small of a knife. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wanted to, um, you know, just to prep our veggies while we wait for everything else or rather while we wait for the oven to warm up. So. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm so happy that it's Friday. And if you are watching this before Memorial Day, no, I'm sorry, Labor Day, rather, happy long weekend. I hope everybody is gearing up for a fun um, weekend. Or if you are watching this on Monday, I hope you're having a good, safe time. All right, so I'm gonna continue chopping these and um, continue on. I am also gonna throw in some tomatoes. I'm gonna throw in probably one or two. Again, this is, you know, however you like to make it, you literally just wanna do a combination of different veggies so you have something to pick from. Um, and again, you know, this is a good way to load up veggies or use up any leftovers you have or veggies that are maybe about to go bad. Um, you can use them up and throw them into your egg, egg um, muffins. And the good thing about these as well is that once they're cooked, you can keep them in the fridge for up to three days or in the freezer for up to um, six weeks. All right, so I'm just gonna continue chopping these up and bring you guys right back. And as you guys can see, my veggies are all ready to go. So now that I'm gonna be prepping up my eggs, I just now have a nice little buffet of veggies that I can, you know, kind of pick from and combine for my egg muffin. So again, as you guys can see, this is a really simple recipe and a great way to load up your veggies for the kiddos. All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> and by cracking, I mean cracking some eggs. So I'm gonna use um, five eggs. Um, you can certainly use more or less depending on how much um, egg you want in your egg muffin or if you want more of a veggie consistency. So I'm just gonna continue cracking these eggs to get this bad boy ready. And let's add a little bit of salt for taste. 
and of course our black pepper. Oh, it looks like I'm out. I need some more. I need to pick some up at the 99. All right, let's get whisking. So next what we wanna do is we wanna just um, spray all of our different, um, our uh, muffin pan so we can get it ready for the oven. So next what I wanna do is I just wanna start loading up the different veggies into the, um, into the pan. So I'm just gonna throw in basically just a combination of different um, vegetables in so I don't necessarily have um, a set of you know um, veggies that I wanna include. I'm just basically mixing them as I kind of go. Let's see this one. Um, and again, you can you know make your own combination or make whichever flavor um, or style you prefer. It does not need to be anything in particular. It's basically what you know suits your taste. So you guys can see, I'm just doing a nice combination of all the different veggies that I have. And I think all of them will, one thing that they all will have in common is that I'm gonna include a little feta cheese in every single one. There we go. Okay, I think these are pretty much ready. You don't wanna overstuff them because otherwise I think it may um, overflow on you. But you guys get the idea. Ooh, these are going to be so delicious. I cannot wait. Let's throw in a little feta cheese and then our egg to complete the dish. All right, so now let's load up our um, pan with our egg mixture. We go, we wanna make sure that it gets all in there. We're gonna always go back and add a little more if it feels like it's not enough. And this will bring everything together. I am so excited, you guys. This is a great treat and also um, a good way to meal prep for the week. Um, if you are, um, you know, just needing to meal prep or if you're on the go, you can easily grab these once these are made. So again, these are really versatile, versatile and perfect for the whole family. So, okay, I think we're almost at the end. Oh, I might have, might need to add an extra egg in here. Look at that, look at that. Made it perfectly awesome. All right, so now for the fun part, popping it into the oven. All right, so we're gonna to to put it in the oven for about um, 20 minutes at 350 degrees. There we go. Pop this bad boy in there and let it do its thing. All right, so I think it is ready, ooh. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, okay, I truly, <laughs> that's the one thing I don't like about these oven mitts is that they slide. All right, so let's get this out of the oven and let it cool for about five minutes or so. And let me tell you guys, this smells so good. This is why I wish that YouTube would roll out smell a vision because it smells amazing. I can't wait to dive into these. So we're gonna let them cool for a couple minutes and then take them out for a quick taste test. Ooh, now for the best part is to pick which one I'm going to consume first. So I think I'm gonna try this one. Just gonna poke it out of the, there um, you go. Be gentle, because they're still hot. So you wanna be careful. And I like this one, because this one actually has a, a lot more red in it as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I'm just gonna poke this one out. And this is why it's very important to make sure that you really um, grease up your pan. Now don't run away from me, buddy. <laughs> Do you guys ever talk to your food? <laughs> or am I just the only weirdo? Um, and I think just for, for display, um, for the picture rather, I'm going to use this one. I may actually end up eating all three. So technically it's one egg um, per, um, well, less than an egg per. But these look so delicious, you guys. I can't wait to give it a try right now and let you guys know what I think. So now for my favorite part of the video is the taste test. So now let's see how good or bad these came out. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited because they smell delicious. So it can't be that bad. 
Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. These are so delicious. And they're really, really fluffy, which I absolutely love. Mmm. I like the fact that the um, the cheese didn't get mushy. It kind of kept the structure, which was really nice. And it is mm, so delicious. Oh my God, the tomato is so juicy. Mm. You guys, I hope you guys try this recipe at home. As you saw, it's really simple to make. And yes, this is my breakfast. <laughs> um, so I have my morning coffee here with my little Fox mug ready for fall. But as you guys can see, this is a really simple recipe and you can load it up with tons of veggies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As a reminder, I do have a Dollar Tree store walkthrough um, and it's tons and tons of amazing things. I actually showed a lot of Christmas already. So if you guys are interested in that, I will link the video down below. And also as a reminder, I do have a giveaway going on right now in my 99 cent only store walkthrough video so if you have not checked that one out <laughs> please do so as well so thank you so much for watching if you are new i hope you hit the subscribe button and i hope to see you back soon i will be back on sunday for my 99 cent only store walkthrough so until then have a great day have a good evening and as always don't forget to do the 99